Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. Today is the 17th of, 17th of September and today is the day that I'm going to do the draw for one of the giveaways that I'm having. Uh, I will be picking using the comment picker, random comment picker, and I'm going to do that first so that if you don't want to stick around for the rambling then you don't have to. Uh, but we're going to quickly re recap what I'm giving away. The first thing is you will get to choose two skeins of bare yarn. Uh, the, they're all wool, cashmere, nylon. Uh, this one is, I believe, DK weight. And this one is, says worsted, but it is slightly thicker than worsted, I think. Um, you can choose these two, these two, or one of each. And whatever you don't choose, I will die. You will also get two boxes of food coloring. Uh, there are tons of tutorials on YouTube on how to um, dye in the microwave using food color. So just, you know, type it in in the YouTube search and you'll come up with it. Uh, this one is just regular colors. This one is neon. You will also get two skeins of Elite Spun 100% Merino Wool. This one is color Celadon. This one's color Pink Marl. So you'll get that, and you'll also get three skeins of Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling Acrylic in the colorway Lagoon. I love this stuff. Okay, so that's the prize. We'll do the giveaway. There were 536 unique comments. And let's start this. It's doing its thing. And the winner is Lily Crochet Fashion L Hall. Um, if you could get in touch with me, uh, my email address is crochet2018 at rogers.com. Send me an email letting me know where you want me to ship this, and I will get it out to you as quickly as possible. Now, on to the rambling. Um, I don't have a lot to show you, only because life has been so busy. Um, yeah, <laughs> this past weekend, I did not pick up a hook all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Uh, Saturday, my husband, my youngest son, and my daughter participated in the Tough Mudder. The tough, the tough Mudder is a five kilometer obstacle race, you know, where they have to climb walls, you know, muck through mud. <laughs> they had a blast. Um, it was an all day thing. It was fun, lots of fun. I did not participate, but I had fun watching. If they'll let me, I'll put in a picture or two in there, uh, in here somewhere. Uh, let's see, also Sunday was our anniversary, so Saturday night we went to dinner, uh, just the two of us, which rarely happens, and it was so nice to reconnect with my best friend. Uh, and last week my son turned 17, so Sunday we had a whole lot of 17 year olds in the house. He had a lot of his friends over, we invited our friends, so the day was uh, uh, involved a lot of cooking and enjoying my friends. So no crocheting. And I think it was Thursday or Friday, my friend Andrea, the woman who buys that, uh, my hats, um, put in an order for nine um, messy bun hats and nine, um, what do they call it, headbands or ear warmers. Um, yeah, and I initially thought she said a week and I'm like, sure. And then I realized, oh my God, that's 80, 18 items in one week. But then I reread her message and, and uh, she actually meant the beginning of October. So I was like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Which reminds me, if anybody's got any great patterns, uh, I mean, not the simple ones like single crochet or double crochet, that, those ones I can figure out. But anything that has a little more texture of messy bun hats or headbands, you know, let me know. Uh, I'm interested in, in learning something new. Um, yeah, what else? That's all I have. I'm not nothing to show you that I've that I've done, uh, but I do have some um, happy mail. The first one is from Penny, and she has a YouTube channel, and I'll leave the the, YouTube, the link to her channel down below. I actually got this early last week. I just did not have a chance to show you, so this completely blew me away. She did not give me an inkling that something was coming. And so I get this, and oh, I wish I could show you her um, her address tag. She's got a little address tag, and it's an it's got a, it's a dog. <laughs> it's so cute, but we won't we won't show you that. Um, anyway, it comes in this 
gorgeous, gorgeous organza bag. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Anyway, and inside, she put a little note that says, I wanted to do something fun for all of my favorite crochet folks, so please accept this little token of my thanks for always brightening my day. Sincerely, Penny. And it's got these little, little, um, balls of yarn and a crochet hook. How stinking cute is that? And it is from, I'm, really, I'm so sorry, I guess I should have opened this. I wanted to start using it right away, but I wanted to show you first. It is from Pen Daisy Designs. Oh, please focus. Oh. I'll leave a link for Pen Daisy. Anyway, it is my favorite color. Look at this. It's a keychain and it has a, a red moon and a red hank of yarn. Oh my goodness, this is gonna go right away on my keychain right along with the one that I got from Rose Likes Crochet. This is so beautiful and it says Canadian crotcheter on it. Look at that. Oh my goodness, so, I don't even know what to say anymore, like, like thank you just doesn't seem like enough, you know? Um, the fact that you thought of me, Penny, like it's just, and eh, if you don't know Penny, you have to go watch her. She's so darn adorable. The last video that I watched, she was making fried chicken, but she was making mounds of fried chicken. <laughs> And I haven't had fried chicken in I don't even know how long, a long time. And I was salivating. <laughs> Let me tell you, I was so, just watching her, I was getting so hungry. Um, but I beat down that peel, feeling. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So you have to go check out Penny. She is absolutely fabulous and a darling, an absolute darling for her to do something like this. I, I understand that she's done this for a few podcasters and just, I, I don't even know what to say. Thank you very, very much, Penny. The other gift that I got <clears throat> is not a, I don't even know if she watches the channel or what. My husband's childhood friend who lives in Calgary, has been visiting us for the last uh, week and a half or so. And, um, and he does this every year, he comes. It started out for the Labor Day weekend. We actually nicknamed Labor Day, Labor Dale, because his name is Dale. And he comes, and I love this man to the core. And he comes, and we all look forward to Labor Day weekend. And this year, he decided to come after Labor Day. We were all very, very disappointed. But anyway, he came. And like I said, he's been coming. Um, so my husband and Dale and their other friend, Tom, all went up to the cottage for a few days to go fishing. I go to the mailbox, and there's a box there. And I'm like, what's this from? And it's from Calgary. I'm like, what? So... I opened it up and there, <laughs> I don't even, <laughs> okay, nobody's ever made me a quilt. And what was in the box, I'm not going to open it up all the way, was this beautiful, beautiful quilt. It's got beautiful fall colors. It's like a, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a brown, but the colors inside are actually like gold. They shimmer. It's a Stunning, stunning. It's, this is only halfway. Stunning quilt. And the reason I'm getting teared up is because I don't know this lady. Turns out, Dale's mom, Linda, made this for me and she sent me a card saying, thank you for taking care of my son every time he comes. I'm like, there's no need for thanks because we love him. We love him so much. But this, I, like I said, I don't even know. Linda, if you're watching, I don't know if you do. I don't even know how to thank you because nobody's ever made me a quilt before. Like this is just, you know, oh, I, I don't even know how to thank you. So this is sitting on the back of my couch. Nobody's allowed to touch it. As a matter of fact, I went out one evening 
It was a Friday. I went out with my girlfriend and I came home and my quilt had been moved. I lost it. I'm like, who's been touching it? <laughs> and my husband's like, I just wanted to look at it. <laughs> Anyway, this is mine and it is the perfect size for me and I love the colors and the workmanship is amazing. Uh, so I take it, like I said, I've never met Linda, but from what Dale tells me is that she's a quilter. And uh, this is going to be a keepsake for me as long as I'm alive. <laughs> and again, thank you Linda, that was so, so sweet of you. Unnecessary, completely not necessary, but so sweet of you. Um, anyway, so that's what I've received and that's all I have to show you. I am um, still thinking about doing the Take My Stash giveaway, um, but um, it's going to take me a couple of weeks to get it together. Life is just really, really hectic right now. Uh, and if quite a few of you have asked me if I was crazy for giving away my stash, and maybe I am, I don't know. Um, the re there's two reasons why I'm, I'm, I want to do some of that is um, one it's yarn that I'm not gravitating to and two my husband told me that he's gonna retire in 23 months so in 23 months I have 23 months because we're gonna be selling this place and downsizing drastically so I might not even have a craft corner <coughs> excuse me uh, let alone a craft room I have 23 months to declutter this whole house. Uh, it seems like a long time, but it really isn't. So that's the other reason. Anyway, I want to thank everyone who keeps coming back and who, who has subscribed and who comes back and watches these videos and everybody who's participated in, uh, in the, uh, this little giveaway that I, that, I, that I had. 536 comments. That's... That's amazing, and um, turns out quite a lot of you are just like me, just like me. <laughs> so that makes me feel very not alone. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you all so very much. Um, I'm probably be back in a few days to show you what I've come up with as far as um, the messy bun hats and headbands. I hope everyone is having a wonderful week, and we will talk soon.